All right, these are your notes for the male reproductive system. We're gonna talk about structures and functions. I'll give you the structure and function simultaneously, and you can take notes as quickly or slowly as you want. You can speed up, slow down to get through the notes. All right, so testes produce sperm and testosterone. The scrotum is the sac that holds the testes. It is found outside the body. The reason it is found outside the body is because normal body temperature, 98.6 on average, is too hot for sperm to actually be created and mature. It needs to be at cooler temperatures, so the testicles need to be held away from normal body heat. Next up we have the perineum. The perineum is the area between the anus and the scrotum. It's sort of like a physical barrier between the um, end of your digestive system and fecal matter and your reproductive system. So it's important men and women both have a perineum. All right, next up we have the seminiferous tubules. This is where the production of sperm occurs and they are located in the testes. <laughs> All right, next up are spermatogonia. Spermatogonia are the, are the actual cells that produce sperm. So your seminiferous tubules, which are found in your testes, are lined with spermatogonia, which are the actual cells that produce sperm. Next up, we have the epididymis. The epididymis stores sperm while they mature. And the epididymis are found on the testes. So they're like a structure that sits on the back side of the testes. All right. The vas deferens carry sperm from the epididymis and they eventually arrive at the urethra. All right, next up we have seminal vesicles. They secrete a mucus-like fluid containing fructose, for sperm nutrition, and prostaglandins uh, into the semen or seminal fluid. Prostaglandins are interesting. Their function doesn't have anything to do with sperm. It actually has to do with on the other end. Prostaglandins loosen the constricted like cervix so that sperm can actually enter the birth canal and make it all the way to the uterus. So their job is actually to like prepare the way for sperm to be able to make it to an egg in order to fertilize that egg. And then lastly, an ejaculatory duct. It receives seminal fluid and prostate secretion, and it is joined with the vas deferens. All right, next up we have the urethra. The urethra is the tube that carries urine and semen. Then we have the prostate gland. The prostate gland secretes a buffer that is alkaline or basic in nature that protects sperm in the acidic environment of the vagina. So the prostate gland like puts a protective shield around sperm so that the sperm can survive in the vagina long enough to get to the uterus. Cowper glands. Cowper glands secrete a fluid that protects sperm from any leftover urine in the urethra. The uric acid and urea that is found in urine would kill the sperm if not for the secretions of the cowper glands. All right, then we have the penis. The penis's job is to enter and deposit sperm into the female reproductive tract. Next up, we have the glands penis. Um, which will aid in entry into the female reproductive tract. It is the enlarged tip of the penis covered by the prepus, which is the foreskin. The glans penis is also referred to as like the head of the penis. And last but not least, we have the prepus or foreskin. And it is the fold of skin which covers the head, which is called the glans of the penis. We are. Okay. Its function is thought to be a protective barrier um, of what is, you know, like highly sensitive skin. On top of knowing these structures and functions, you'll also have to be able to identify the stru structures on a diagram. So we're going to look at that diagram now. On Quizlet, 
The diagram is also there and the diagram is completely labeled so that on your quiz you will be able to identify structures on the diagram as well as tell me those structures functions. So you will not have to draw this. This is on Quizlet. You'll be given like this same blank slate and just have to be able to label these different components and tell me what the different components do. You do get a word bank, but it will be like the entire word bank. So this right here is actually your pubic bone. So I will now show you on Frank. All right, and in no particular order except for how it is displayed on this diagram, we start with the prostate gland right here. Remember, it secretes basic um, enzymes that help protect the sperm in the acidic environment of the vagina. The urethra, which carries urine and sperm. The vas deferens, which connect the epididymis to the urethra. The vas deferens aid in actual sperm maturation and development. That is why they take so long to get where they are going. You could absolutely take a shortcut right here and they would arrive, but that doesn't give sperm the time they need to actually mature. So it goes up and around and over the bladder and then meets at the urethra back there. This is the bladder. They are showing it filled with urine. Here is where the bladder empties out into the urethra. The prostate gland will swell in order to prevent urine and semen from entering the urethra at the same time. So there's no cross contamination either way. Uh, then we have the penis. Penis is riddled with blood vessels and there are two large caverns for lack of a better term that are constricted when the penis is not erect. When it becomes erect, um, those fill with blood to make the penis um, hard enough to actually enter into the female reproductive tract. So there are two large caverns that fill with blood in order for an erection to actually occur. Uh, then there's the glands penis, which is the head of the penis. The foreskin, protective barrier of outer epithelial skin to protect the penis. The scrotum, which is where the testicles are kept away from the body so that proper sperm production can occur. It is too warm inside the body. Uh, a testis, that is the singular of testes. Inside each testis, there are seminiferous tubules. Those are lined with spermatogonia, which is where sperm are first created. Epididymis is where sperm are allowed to um, mature. <coughs> Cowper glands. The Cowper glands um, secrete a fluid along the urethra to clear the urethra of any urine so that um, the urine doesn't kill any sperm. Then you have your ejaculatory duct right here. Seminal vesicles, which supply nutrients for the sperm. And then the perineum, which is the gap and sort of physical barrier between your anus and the scrotum, or in women, anus and vagina. And it's a way of preventing like cross-contamination to prevent UTIs and things like that. Bacteria from your um, feces doesn't get contaminated with your um, reproductive tract. This is your rectum, end of your digestive tract, anus, and this is your sacrum or your tailbone.